You don't realize how much you miss peg hooks until you get stacked this deep on a shelf. Oh. But these get pegs? What? Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh <laughs> review, weekly, whatever the hell this is. As always, I am Robo, and before we get into it, let's uh, go back to last week. What in the hell is this? It's the SH Figure Arts hand cun. Why? An action figure of a hand. Hey, guess what? I have one of those, and I have the much sought after variant left, too. It just seems like a dumb concept to me. A, a hand. Who needs a hand? Now I realize this was kind of an ill-conceived joke. I wasn't making fun of anybody or artists or anything like that. I kind of knew in the back of my head that this was for artist use, where you pose it and then you draw it. Yes, I understand that. And I appreciate everybody, everybody <laughs> that made a comment of what it is or what it could be used for. I, I wasn't trying to be dumb, but I was apparently came off as dumb. I was trying to set up the joke of, even though it feels kind of out of left field, I I still want it. But saying all that, <laughs> I, I'm kind of interested in seeing exactly how this turns out. Because it's still Bandai, it's still, you know, an articulated object. I, I dig that kind of stuff. So like I said, I appreciate a lot of you, and I mean a lot of you, coming along to correct me, and I also appreciate 99% of you being nice about it. You know who you are. So let's talk about some Masters of the Universe. Let's talk about some Astrobots. Let's talk about some uh, Transformers, just a little bit, not much. If you're here for the Transformers, you may be a little bit disappointed. Some DC collectibles, SH Figure Arts, some Mezco 112 Collective, and then a little bit of Hasbro Star Wars. First up, Super 7 has announced that their Masters of the Universe Club Grayskull Wave 3 will be going up for pre-order next week. I just got Sorceress and, and, and whoever else was in that wave. I, I still have them boxed up. I got uh, Montork and Driel. I, I guess I'm saving for, well, one, more room, and which I'm working on, and two, I, I want a big stack of Masters of the Universe stuff to open up all, uh, all at the same time, I, I, is my subconscious thought here. So since I'm into the Filmation stuff, I'll definitely be pre-ordering Wave 3. It's She-Ra with her sword, a boomerang, and shield, Grizzlor with a shield and energy baton, Mantana with a blaster, alternate hands, and an extra head with the buggy eyes. So that's kind of cool, having a whole completely different head. From what I hear of switching out the Triclops head or any of the other pieces, hopefully it's not a super tight, ooh, am I gonna break this bastard fit for the neck ball. And then Fisto, who is advertised as coming with a sword and fist. Now the pre-orders aren't gonna stay open for long. It goes from October 22nd to November 15th. So if you're wanting to get those, which they look really great, hopefully they come out like this in the final product, I jump on it quick. I'm jumping on it, I'm, I'm down for the Filmation stuff. Because also next week, uh, Super 7 should start shipping out the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Laughing Atom. I was at San Diego and missed this damn thing. So I got on the website, pre-ordered it. It's nice to finally think of it as coming to me, you know, to, as a box to go in the stack of my other boxes of Master stuff. We've talked about the Toy Notch Astro Bots before. I, I really, for some reason, I'm, why did I not buy this? When it was first announced, I probably, you know, oh, I'm all over this, it's robots. I, when I saw the final product, I was a little bit disappointed in the size. They're smaller than I thought they would be, but they're not super small, so I, why I don't have one yet? Who knows? But Toy Notch has a display at the Taipei Toy Festival right now showing off Apollo, showing off Argus, showing off two new ones, Athena and Artemis. Both are female robots. They have the same aesthetics as Argus and Apollo, just thinned down to female form. One looks to kind of have a face, the other is more helmety. One is wings, one is some kind of disc thing on its back. They're different enough to justify two purchases. But standing beside Apollo, they may be a little bit small. They're kind of teen size. And I'd say all this as a six inch collector. If you're into the smaller scale, there you go. I, I, that's great. But apparently I'm biased. I didn't even realize what I was saying until it was just spilling out of my mouth, which is what the weeklies usually are. I'm thinking these are about five inches, but I could be wrong. Could be completely wrong. I will see 
what happens when we get more information, more, you know, comparison shots. If you look at the picture panned out from the display, you can see larger drawn pictures of both Artemis and Athena. And Artemis seems to have a purple, orange, gray, silver color scheme, while Athena has silver and gray with some gold and red accents. But also in the display is an Apollo that's same colors, but really dirtied down, really darkened. And then he's wearing some kind of poncho thing, like, you know, Dead Earth Apollo or something. From the comments section on Facebook, I gather it's an exclusive to somewhere. I just don't have that information right now or I didn't see anybody talking about that. But speaking for me, that may be my foot in the door because I liked Argus's colors better, but I like Apollo's design. So darkening that down, that may be my jam. Also at the Taipei Toy Festival, Toys Alliance advertised that they were gonna be there and they specifically showed the promo art for the Transformers MAS-03 three sound wave but i can't find any pictures from the show so like i said if you're a transformers fan uh, the the prototype for sound wave the the big ass sound wave is being shown somewhere in overseas dc collectibles has solicited their designer series bombshells sailor joker and nurse harley looking to match the artwork really well and the statue that they've released before joker is in his purple and green and orange themed sailor suit. He's advertised as having a hat. I'm sure that'll look cool. Harley's in a straight up nurse uniform and she has an alternate head with kissy lips that matches the statue and artwork better. But where are the kisses on Joker's face? I, it's straight up representation of the artwork in action figure form, but not 100%. When it comes to toys, is there no PDA allowed? What's going on here? I didn't know there were rules to this. I knew there were rules. <laughs> I just don't like following them. Now, Big Bad Toy Store has these listed for $24 a piece, and they release in June of next year, but there's also a two-pack with the exclusive bombshell packaging that, well, it's sold out now, but it was $54, is that right? Yeah, $54. If you're in it for the packaging, if you're a mint on card collector, then yeah, I, I can see the appeal of an exclusive bombshells packaging, but if you're just after the figures, $5 cheaper for the single packs, plus they're still available, it's kind of a moot point if you're going through Big Bad Toy Store. Where's this ramble going? The toys themselves are cheaper. Split. Together, more expensive. Yeah. Bandai has solicited yet another SH Figure Arts Avengers Infinity War figure in the form of War Machine Mark IV. I love the look of this. The silver is silvery. The gun metal is gun metal-y. I've seen some people comment that it's missing the camo. I, I need to rewatch the movie, I guess. Did, did I miss that? Either way, I like the look of it right here. It has several sets of hands. It has a repulsor blast. It has boot jet effects. It has a muzzle flash for the gun along with several weapons that does all kinds of crazy stuff you know, on the backpack or behind his back. And it's listed as coming with a set of pedestals. Is that... The stand, or is it the things that are coming off the backpack that kind of come down? I don't know. Like I said, I need to watch the movie again. I'm going to go do that right now. $75 releases in April, but it is a Soul Web exclusive. But waiting this long, they solicited midweek. Bluefin has already solicited their version, which is essentially the, the same version. Keeping with armored dudes in armor, armored dudes in armor. Mezco pulled a surprise I didn't even know it was coming. I didn't completely missed it. I'll get that out of the way first. I completely missed the pre-order on this because it only stayed up for like 20, 25 minutes. But they put up for pre-order their fall exclusive Model 42 Iron Man. Modern comics, I'm not as familiar with the gold and black look, but it is striking, especially with the red repulsors and such all over it. it. It's a nice color scheme all the way around. It looks pretty much the same as their classic and stealth versions. It boasts metal parts in places. It boasts a light-up feature, but it doesn't say anything about the magnetic face mask of the first two. So it seems Model 42 doesn't come with the Tony face underneath, or maybe it's a surprise, I don't know, maybe they forgot to list it. Either way, at this point, it doesn't look like it comes with it. It also seems to come with all the same accessories as the stealth version. It's got booster effects, it's got repulsor blasts, it has the chest beam, several sets of hands, the power pods with the rockets coming out on the hips. But instead of one wrist rocket, he comes with two wrist rockets. Maybe that makes up for the face, or this is one of those things where they're adding uh, more of the smaller parts to even the two previous releases, kind of like Batman, who came with 10 batarangs, just in case you know you lose one or nine. Now they put it up for $90, said it would ship next month, but like I said, it 
sold out super fast, which I'm more of a classic guy. I'm completely happy getting the classic and then the stealth. This would have been cool standing beside it though. But if you're in the Los Angeles area or going to LA Comic Con, they will be selling it there too. And then finally, we're gonna finish it up with some Star Wars. Don't we always finish it up with some Star Wars? We had already seen the reveals of all of Hasbro's Star Wars Black Series Wave 19, but the wave went up for solicitation this past week, so we got newer pretty promotional pictures. From Solo, we're gonna finish out that crew with L337. If you already have the Lando, why wouldn't you get the L337? Have Val, who will look great next to my Beckett. Same for Rio uh, finishing out that little group and plus it looks like an awesome little action figure. For some reason lately I've had a very high interest in action figures that aren't actually you know human shaped. You got the extra arms, different size, different shape, whatever. I'd, so this coming in the Star Wars line? Mm -mm -mm. Imperial Probe Troop? <laughs> probe? Probe Trooper? <laughs> I don't want to run into one of those guys. Imperial Patrol Trooper from Solo. You guys know me, you put Trooper at the end of any name for a Star Wars figure and I'm going to need one or 16 of them. Hoth Leia, which after getting the Bespin Escape Leia seems a little bit less exciting because it's essentially new lower legs, new head, vest. But the photo reel is so damn great that I, I buy the same figure with small changes as long as they have that look on the head. Plus integral part to a different part of my display. <laughs> I needs it. Skip guard Lando. I so, so wish we got photo reel on the first Lando, the Bespin Lando, because this is looking great. Just think of what the Bespin could have looked like too. Like we talked about in the Foosh cast, they're gonna do a 40th anniversary for Empire Strikes Back. Surely Bespin Lando will get another shot with photo reel on the vintage card. Win, win, except for us buying the first Lando and then having to get a second Lando, and then third Lando, still need General Lando, you know how this goes. And then of course, Dengar. Mmm, mmm, finishing off the bounty hunters? It wasn't until this figure that I realized that Dengar is actually wearing slippers. He rolls out of bed in the morning, he throws some armor on over his bandages and pajamas. I don't even care. I'm going out and I'm going to kick some ass. But the big thing here is finishing off the bounty hunters from Empire Strikes Back. Now we can nitpick about getting better versions of some of those figures, namely IG-88, but that's another, that's a whole nother episode. The full case is available at Dorkside and you'll want to get a full case because this is the first case in a long time where I went, oh, a whole case of new characters that we don't have in figure form before, except for Bespin Han. But that figure's so damn good and fodderable, I, I make customs out of him all day long. I don't mind getting another one. And those should be shipping here within the next month or two because my GameStop actually got the Imperial Patrol Trooper. Well, not mine. I was able to sweet talk my store into calling another store two hours away and having them send it to this store. And then I got my Patrol Trooper. But it's odd that GameStop is only getting the Patrol Trooper and from what I hear, one per store. So I feel pretty lucky to have grabbed this, but I also have the case coming. Like I said, I need more than one trooper. So that's it for this week. I, I tacked a number on the first of this episode. I don't know if it's completely right. I just went scrolling through the backlog of videos on this channel and tried to pick out all the weeklies and all the news. So episode 86, that's just what we're gonna call it because I need to start numbering because of all I talk about, the titles start getting jumbled and mixed. A number will keep it in order. Because it's also been two years this week that I first stepped out in front of the camera. Believe me, that first time I did it, I did not want to do it at all. But now this is my favorite time of the week. I get to get up here, talk about toys with all y'all. Y'all are all awesome. So this is fun. Also, you'll notice, oh, got a blue screen and it looks nice. This will work for when I don't want to, you know, key out the background. This is much nicer. I, I, it's almost like I'm standing in my review space with my toys. But with me using a blue background for the weeklies, I this hopefully the key's a little bit cleaner. And equipment upgrades like this and other things you don't see are all thanks to my patrons on Patreon. So I really, truly appreciate the love, guys. We'll get around to doing another contest here in the next several weeks. But having a blue background, it makes me realize, oh shit. Most of my shirts have blue on them, so I need to order more shirts. RipedApparel.com, promo code FOOSH. So if you like this FOOSH Weekly, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the FOOSH.